So to start this um, vlog, I haven't went there yet, but you'll see it's in our insert after that's done. So the private pick is today about noon, 11.30, around there. So it's going to be for legit antique dolls or vintage. So some were some that I've seen when they had the yard sale and they marked them down to $100. I don't know if that is a good price or not. But one thing I do not want to say to the seller is I cannot spend all my money, though. So I'm probably not going to buy all the dolls that she has wrapped up because I'm going to need to next month or sooner get different shoes for work. And, yeah. And to... I'm going to be headed to the, um, to Eau Claire, like, to Savers and that. So, I don't want to spend all my money and have no money if there's something really good there. So, if you get my point, um... You never know what Sabres has, like, a really good gold ring with diamonds that is cheap enough. I mean, they're used, they're cheaper than Hope Gospel, but, um, they're not super outrageous, but they are still expensive. But you won't find at our Goodwill's theater in Wisconsin that there's going to be any diamond jewelry put out, you know. So the other thing I want, I forgot to mention is I can't put any of these dolls on layaway either because in my opinion, if you put, and being that this is a private sale, some things on layaway where you got to go back and giving them the money gradually till they're paid off, you might forget. And the way she sound like she won't let you add the items right away anyway until you're fully paid. So, paid her. So, it's like if you forget being layaway if it is, you know, for example, um, they could get mad at you and not want you to come back. So, I typically only get what I truly would want and not go putting them on layaway. As, like I said, I don't carry a big amount of money on me. So... So here is the conclusion of the private pick. There was only the three dolls. Um, so I know I said, and what you saw in the beginning of this, which I did before I went there, that I wasn't going to buy all three of these. And I thought that baby Kessner was going to be in on this, and it wasn't. So, apparently, it was just these two she marked down. And this one was, I believe, 75 she marked down, too. But this was a package deal. So, she said, if you buy all three of them dolls, antique dolls, I'll show you this one. I'll just pull a little bit on the lagging so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So she has a leather body. And a wig. I'll show you the back of her head. I'm going to sit this down a sec because I don't have 
enough hands. And this is a small one. This one has real human hair. Oh. And she has Germany on her. Again, um, I just don't have enough hands. And I don't want to break any of these. So, there's this one. It has that on the head. All right. So the deal was if I bought all three of those, that's what pushed me into doing this. So was... This guy. So if I bought all three of those dolls as a gift, I would get this. You see that tag on the collar? It's missing its button in the ear. And that. So. She threw in for free the Stife for buying those three. And I knew Stife is worth something at least. And she said that she might have me come again and look at some more Stife. I like Stife, but what I was really hoping for, like I said, was the uh, baby Kessner, but, um, so, she said that one is a Kessner, so, um, I think the dress is not original, is what she said. So, yeah. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. And don't forget to like, comment, and share our channel, as it would help get my channel out there to people that don't know about it yet. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.